hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel blog series so guys now in this video we are going to learn about how to fetch the total registered user okay so guys now let's create one tab as users or registered users and then fetch the registered users data okay so guys now let's get started so first let's move to our editor okay let's close all the files now not required perfect so now guys we need to create a route like admin slash users okay so on this route we are going to fetch the page i mean users so let's get back let's go to routes web.php and create a route colon get method where we will be using fetching all the users so now assign the controller guys uh, we want a user controller inside admin folder let's open a terminal here and now guys let's give php artisan make colon controller and inside admin folder i want to create a user controller and hit enter so controller created successfully let's see that controller controller admin and here is your user controller perfect so let's copy this path i mean namespace and here you assign it forward slash user controller colon colon class so now guys let's create one index function where we'll get all the data so let's go to the user controller and create a public function where at index function and here you are going to dollar users of your user model okay so user model colon colon all data you will get and let's return this in a view where you will tell inside admin folder i want to create a user folder with index blade file okay and let's send the variable of user inside compact function i mean users let's create a variable called users okay done and yep guys let's move to our resource views admin and inside admin create a folder with the name users i mean user so this is our user and create a file index dot blade.php cool so now guys let's uh, copy the layout so let me just copy from the post page here copy close and paste so yep here is our master layout included i mean extended and view users let's copy and paste for the title and we don't require this back button okay so let's remove that all set so now guys let's change this let's tell username and this will be the email and we require one status and an edit button we don't require delete option for users and now guys let's change the variable of post to users okay users of item yep here you check with the name and the email and status is not there right now okay I mean status is not there so let me just show you here you go in user stable so there is no status variable only a role as it is there so guys let us show the role itself okay so a role all done and let's tell a role over here as so if it is one you are called as admin else you are a user all set and let's remove this delete option here you give user of the id for editing it so let's save and now guys let's view the output okay perfect so here all your view users so all your users data has come so this way prakash Om prakash is a user and this admin is a admin you can see the record so guys now let's paste this uh, at the sidebar let's get back to our master layout 
okay and here our sidebar let's go to the sidebar and let me just remove all this unwanted codes let's add a dashboard I mean copy this dashboard and add a, as a user and here is a URL let's change URL to admin forward slash users so same copy this and call for the dashboard also okay so here we have not set that let's set that to dashboard perfect so save and we see the output now cool so perfect so we'll click on users here you move to users dashboard yep so guys let's see next video about how to edit this user and updates this role okay in next video so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share